What? Um, I, I was told you could train me. No. Go away. I'm not leaving. I need a place to camp. There must be another way. Please, all I ask is a moment of your time. I apologize if I've been unclear or otherwise confused you with my words. It was never my intention to mislead, so let me try to clarify. Get the hell off my land! I'm coming me up! What are you so afraid of? Afraid? You think I'm afraid of anything? Least of all a self-important little scab like you? Ah. Or you might dream of being a hero. Of riding to rescues. Of saving the world. But stay this course. And the only thing you're gonna be is dead. The world's moved on, boy. Best you do too. I will not leave, do you hear me? I'm never leaving. Just wait, old man. I will not be defeated so easily. I know, I know. Oh. These are square toes. This will be easy. That's what you said last time, and I wound up with a dead horse and a dark eye. Who are you? No one you need concern yourself with, little bridges. Best cut for something bad happens. No. Can't say we didn't warn you.
Talking. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Bring this up. Then I suppose we should talk. Sorry. No, not your fault. This whole place is ready to come down. Goddamn miracle it hasn't already. Anyway, who are you? My name is Rado Hangado. Right. Well, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Now, tell me why you're here. I was told to seek this symbol. Do you even know what that symbol represents? Or what it is you're asking for? No. And yet, here you are. The spirit said that these that I... spirits of yours have been harassing the assassins for centuries. Ever since Ezio uncorked the bottle. Ah, but you don't even know what an assassin is, do you? Well, best settled in then. I've got a story to tell, and it's gonna take a while to get it all out. And so, this is why the Assassins have dedicated themselves to the pursuit of the Templars. Because if they succeed, your spirit's visions will become reality. Then I will stop them. Oh, I have no doubt you'll try. <sighs> Come on. I've some... It wasn't a joke when I said this place was coming apart. Why don't you re What's the point? Besides, I don't have materials for the job. So buy them. <laughs> Look at me! You think I can just march into some store purse full of pounds and go- Yes. Why not? I'm so naive. This way.
don't think you can just come in here, throw those on, and call yourself I, I did an not. assassin. I would never presume... That's all right. I know they've a certain allure. Very well. I'll train you. Then we'll know if you've the right to wear those robes. Thank you. Um... Name's Achilles. Come on, then. We've work to do. are a speck of dust, a nothing, you and all your kind, living in the dirt like animals, oblivious to the true ways of the world. What do the Templars want? What they've always wanted, control. They see an opportunity in the colonies, a chance for new beginnings, unfettered by the chaos of the past. This is why they back the British. Here they have a chance to illustrate the merits of their beliefs, a people in service to the principles of order and structure. I have seen what is to come if they succeed. They have to die, don't they? All of them. Even my father. Especially your father. He's the one holding the whole thing together. So I trained, in running, in climbing, in fighting, in falling, and for every lesson that concerned the body, there were two that concerned the mind. Language, philosophy, logic, the arts. Achilles taught most often of the assassins and Templars, their structures, origins, and purpose. Centuries of history condensed into a few short days. I told him of the men who had burned my village, of Charles Lee, and my promise to him. Achilles explained that Lee and his followers were Templars, and that they were led by none other than my own father. If I was to serve the order, these men would become my targets. So I worked harder, learned faster, but for all my progress, it was clear that I still had much to learn. My training had only just begun.